Hello and welcome to this new video. Today we've been shooting and this is for the new collection. So this is my outfit. Crap chat. A bit mad still but I'm feeling the extra height I get so man's like about six four six five about now socks and sandals it is what it is, it is what yep. it's gonna be my drip for the dinner and here's some footage of what we've been up to today so usually come into hair and makeup and as you can see here you've got different people getting their hair and makeup done for the day and it's usually a pretty wild time so much going on in the room so much people being addressed to and around the back you have people laying out the clothes and outfits accessories that everyone was going to wear and interact with on the day i usually prepare and come prepared before before shoot or an experience. I usually have clear skin, I usually have my hair styled. Uh, just from personal experiences, I think it's best for me. Um, but that doesn't mean that people still can't do things. So here, like I'm getting my skin moisturized and massaged. So this, these are pictures from the fitting and at a fitting, what tends to happen is that you do this before. It's like a quick interview. Um, sometimes they can be as quick as two minutes, which is crazy to think. That's a conversation for another day. But essentially, this is opportunity for the people who are shooting to see whether you're a good fit for their project. And if you are, you go into this phase, which is the shoot. And here, the job is to sell the product. It's really that simple. Um, it's not about you. In a way it is, but it isn't. It's about the product. It's about selling the product and how you best can market the product for the vision of the client. And you have to work in a team, usually a team of makeup artists, hairstylists, photographers, uh, stylists, designers. There's so much going on. And you will always have people in your personal space always checking in on you, always seeing whether your outfit looks good because that's essentially their job. That's what they're being paid to do. Rule one, be bold. In order to be creative, you have to be cheeky and out of character. You have to do things which are unconventional. You have to be willing to embrace unorthodox ideas and thoughts and be willing to share the creative space with other people. And that space sometimes might be physical, such as right now. He's very close. Yes. And this is what happens all of the time. <laughs> anyway, whoa. Yeah, I was thinking what you lot were thinking. Um, I was thinking, if I put a cup on that, would it be able to rest perfectly? The answer is yes, by the way. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bunda can do all kinds of things to all kinds of people. Don't die for Yash, guys. Anyway, this is Natasha. So she's the one who came up with the idea with Ivan, her son. And essentially she said it was really about taking the joy that people were getting from unpacking loads of things, be it garments or be it whatever people were buying during lockdown and recycling them. And um, it was ironic that a lot of the things people would buy will end up being something that packaged them later on in life. You can read more about it online. She talks about an interview she does with Vogue, but the idea is essentially made her queen of the boxes. And this was the piece which really showed that more than anything. If you stay to the end, uh, you can see more of the final selects. All of them are quite memorable, to be honest. But wait to the end and you can see the pictures that went online and were used for promo. Anyway, after all this, we did an exhibition and this gave the opportunity for members of the public to come and see the clothing and the collection. And we actually had a dinner. And yes, we sat down at those tables and some people sat at the tables with those boxes in front of them, which kind of does make sense. Uh, you'd think it wasn't functional, but watch me practice. Well done, Allah. You can put food towards your mouth. Never would I have thought that in my life, I'd be sitting at a table 
dressed as a box, eating from boxes. But again, unorthodox thoughts and ideas. And the fact that I did that has led to me creating this video. And who knows who's watching this video? Maybe this might inspire you. Maybe this might teach you a thing or two. I hope it has. Anyway, as promised, here are the selects from what was chosen. Thousands and thousands of images are taken at a shoot and only a few ever see the light of day. Yo, on my way home, just thought I'd do a quick outro and say that today was quite an interesting day. A big thank you to Natasha Zinko and the team for allowing me to be a part of it and the gift inside here. I really enjoyed it, I met some cool people. It was a good day, got to do the lookbook, got to do the exhibition. Um, and if you guys wanna see more of this, then just leave a comment below. If you want me to do different things like interview the designer or perhaps other models or the makeup artists and things like that, let me know what you have in mind and I'll make it happen. I'll speak to people and get them on board. Let's go for maybe, keep it easy, 200 likes. Nice and simple, not even that hard. And it will show me that people are interested and I'll definitely start doing this more often as I'm doing more runway shows, campaigns, exhibitions, e-com, so on and so forth. Anyway, thanks for watching this to the end and I'll see you all soon.